So the next step for me is to uh, cut the trim from the uh, window all the way around. Um, on this one, it's not as important because I'm going to be doing the top, the whole top black. So you won't need to see the black trim around the edges. But what I do is I cut the outside because uh, there is a film on the top of this. And you can just trim the film off and then spray it with black. And what that does is it gives it a semi-gloss black trim look to it which uh, looks more realistic so even if you have all you know black tint black paint um, you can still have the semi gloss window trim which makes it look more uh, scale and more realistic so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these fenders out and uh, cut my uh, blue logo out of this and do all the cutting work on the inside and I'll probably come back along the way and uh, post some more video. Okay, so I got a uh, Sharpie fine tip and uh, I've been going around and outlining all of the lines. Uh, this is actually really helpful because when you try to cut these lines out uh, from the underside, uh, it's hard to see the lines because the uh, the glass kind of has a, a convex shape to it so it's hard to find out where the actual line is so I like to draw these out and uh, some of them you can go right down the center other ones you want to you know go on the inside part of the line some you go on the outside part but in general it helps to have them uh, pointed out some of them uh, you can see like on the uh, on the top of this uh, window it was hard to find that groove to to glide the pen into uh, you know usually you can just let the pen glide and it falls into that groove but this one there wasn't much of a groove so you really need to uh, actually you know draw it and uh, some sometimes you can kind of sketch it out like I did here but once you get the knife on there, the knife will kind of guide you. If you lay it flat, more flat rather than pointing up, if you lay it more flat, it'll kind of guide you uh, where that line should be. Just make sure you're kind of catching the general shape of it. And uh, you'll you'll draw a straight line once you have the, the blade down there. You'll cut a straight line. So uh, I, I did cut the uh, fenders off of this because I couldn't access uh, the tail lights to draw the line, but I'm gonna go ahead and take the fenders off and see how they fit onto the body, make sure they fit right, especially for this one, because I'm gonna have to draw these squares and make sure the fender lines up with it. So I'm gonna keep going, I just wanted to give a post.